Early morning here this morning, just over at Timmy's, waiting for a couple guys, but this morning we are headed over to Soul Rides where we're doing our AST2 training. I've only ever heard good things about the course Soul Rides puts on, so that's why we wanted to get it done with them. Looks like we're only gonna have about four guys doing the course, which is a little disappointing. I was hoping to get, get some more of the guys that I ride with to do it. We got a few guys going here this morning. We got Jason, we got Cody, and we got Braden. You going to get smart today? Definitely get some training. Look at this. Get some fuel first. Look at this setup, eh? Yeah. Let's have a look at this beast. Turn, <laughs> turn some lights on. There you go. Little mob sled. Got your bed up there. Purple princess. Got your kitchen. Have you stayed in this thing yet? No. Morning, sunshine. Morning. Get some race fuel? Yeah. Hey, you gonna ride the mod? No. <laughs> We're just in the shop for a couple hours, just discussing the basics really of uh, managing terrain, uh, the weather forecast, the avi forecast. Now we're headed out to the mountain. like a beautiful day here. Did not expect that at all. Just have a little powwow as we're heading up the mountain here just to talk about the conditions and if they're aligning with what was forecasted today and how that can change uh, the snowpack and our risks. So it was supposed to be cloudy with a freezing level of about five to 800 meters today. We're about at 800 meters now, and it's probably still like two degrees. It's quite quite warm, and there's some sun shining, so that definitely changes the hazards. The snow is actually friggin' awesome in here today. I'm parking you right here is to get your head out of your ass and tell you and put you a little bit in more of a hazardous situation because this is what we're managing. What's above you right now? Is that a piece of avalanche train? Yeah, yeah for sure. Does it come right here? It definitely yeah. does. At one point in its life it has. What type of trigger are you worried about? And as the temperature rises and the sun hits it, we're worried about natural triggers. So we kind of kick it off the roster for a place to be at this point. One thing I'm waiting for Jeremy to do today is to ask us where we keep our cell phones. Because cell phones are a major cause of electrical interference with beacons. So I'm a terrible offender for it, and I know that. I shouldn't keep my cell phone on me like I do. It should be in my snowmobile. I think today's the best snow of the year. Oh man, it's awesome. Holy shit, look at the size of this tree. Oh my god. Oh, my God. 
I gotta say, I didn't feel very confident on this slab when I first got it, but man, do I, do I ever love it now? Wow, is the snow ever good? I think you broke your sled. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we might have to, we're gonna have another one right there. Jason's in the hole. Someone got their goggles filled. I guess we'll drop down and help. We aren't exactly here to ride, so we'll try and get him unstuck and out of the crap as fast as possible. Yeah, they're really screwed up now. Oh, yeah. That is good. Looking for the surface whore. <laughs> Everybody just wants to ride. But uh, every time we stop, we're stopping in a spot that uh, there's a learning opportunity and we talk about the snow. Can you guess why I held up? Yes. That little tiny face made me hold for me. I either got to cut this way or I got to wait till I have eyes. Right. Yeah, we had a small one. A little, even a smaller slope last year with uh, yeah. Mitch that you know it didn't catch anybody but it was just yeah. snuck up on him. Just did a lot of informative talk about different equipment with electrical infer interference. Cody and Jason are both running the tracker, PCA tracker 4, and they were picking up a lot more interference. They were picking up ghost signals. <laughs> Snow is so good. Mm-hmm. 
one step in the snow, that crust that was below is gone. That was down about 40 cm. <laughs> I know, right? We're all just stoked on the snow. <laughs> Sled, he broke his recoil, so we don't really want to be stopping every 30 seconds to talk and have to restart his sled. We're just taking under the day here to do some good riding now. One's coming, yeah. <laughs> 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 That's good. thread is that tape uh extra strength actually <laughs> So big thanks to Jeremy for putting this course on because he's not really making any money since there's only four of us. Usually he'd like to have eight, but we're helping him, helping him get some other content at the same time for himself. So it works out and uh, it's important to get this course done. I, I mean, I've waited long enough and uh, with the interesting snowpack we have this year, it's a great time to teach. It's fairly stable on this mountain where we are here today. But tomorrow we're going somewhere else where there was a fairly large avalanche just a few days ago. Uh, Sledder triggered. So the snowpack is completely different on that mountain. We made it. You, you didn't make it. You ran out of gas. Now. Fire up, she's good to go. Good to go. <laughs> around in the tank. That's uh, that's low fuel. Solid day out there today. Jeremy makes a great teacher. He likes to have some fun too. We did some good ripping at the end of the day there. It probably looks like in the video all we did was ride all day, but uh, that's definitely not the case. We learned lots and I didn't really cover much of the avalanche stuff in the video just because it's impossible to cover it all in a video. So if you're using the mountains in the back country on your snowmobile, you really just need to go out and get your avalanche safety training, at least level one, because there's so much you don't know if you haven't taken a class. We have three more days of training and I'm not gonna upload a video every day because it's long days and 
uh, you know, it's more about the learning, not about making videos. So that's what I'm going to focus on. Maybe get a video out for our last day of training. Uh, we'll see what happens though. Thanks for watching.